My name is Handel Bluer. I am principal keeper of Pending Lighthouse, where we are today. And if you travel along the coast road from St Ives to Land's End, uh, then Pending is about one mile off that road, halfway along, say about nine miles, just about halfway between St Ives and Land's End. Comes May 1993, when I retire, I shall have been here exactly 12 years. Um, of course, uh, being principal keeper in this particular lighthouse doesn't mean that I'm here all the time. Um, for the period we are appointed to a lighthouse can be four or six years perhaps, certainly not much longer. We tend to get moved around from lighthouse to lighthouse right around the country. Um, here we go again, a little bit more dusting, polishing, every day. It looks all right for me, I don't know, but the firm wants it done, so this is why we do it. As we say, the light must shine, light housekeeping, more like heavy housekeeping to me, but still, here we are, another day, another dollar. And my first introduction to Cornwall was at Senan Cove, a uh, very, very nice little beauty spot down there, one heck of a beach. And the lighthouse uh, associated with Senan Cove, you can see if you walk from Senan to Land's End along the coastal footpath, and at Land's End there you see the Longship's Lighthouse, just a mile and a half offshore. And we stayed there for about six years. Um, that was my very first lighthouse. In 40 years since then, um, I'm afraid you'd have to um, look at the calendar of lighthouses and see which ones we haven't been on. <laughs> From the Wolf Rock, the Eddystone, the Bishop Rock, Pendine Lighthouse, and the Isles of Scilly, a lovely place out there. I spent another eight years on the Isles of Scilly also. So um, being in Cornwall um, has been my home now for the last 30, 35 years. Uh, which means I've spent longer in Cornwall than I spent in my original home of Lancashire. Desert Island discs, I don't know. What would you take as a luxury item? A uh, duster and a shammy leather. Uh, that'll do for the time being. Right, time to change this bulb now. You can see the, the glass is becoming discoloured, and being discoloured, of course, reduces the amount of light that can be emitted. So it's time that one came out and put a nice, bright, shiny one in its place. They may not look all that discoloured. Wait till you see the new one. We'll put that one down there, and then we'll bring in the clean one now. <clears throat> now I think you'll see a vast difference. And the new one, of course, is that much cleaner. And the light's going to shine quite nice and shiny tonight, we hope. With a little bit of luck, we should have beams of two million candle power shining this evening. There we are. Give a little bit of a polish for luck. 3,500 watts. Not the sort of thing you want as a bedside light, is it? <laughs> Time to do the log again, every four hours, where are we, the temperature is 14, barometer 10111, 
The wind southwest, west southwest actually. Force three, it's overcast and it's raining. None of the neighboring lights are visible, so we put them out there and we sign it. And that's done for the evening. Great. It's on evenings like this that you can sit back and get the old scrapbook out and start to have a little bit of a reminisce on some of the things you've done, some of the places you've been. My goodness, Handle Bluer looks back. <laughs> Handle Bluer sleeps in a curved bed. What does Handle Bluer not do? We did some fun and games, this one. High tea, what a thing. Golfer Andy's round in one. We decided to have a mad evening once on the Isles of Scilly with a photographer from the Daily Mirror. And we decided that we'd have some pictures of me playing golf on the Bishop. There you see the trap door we came up. That's me on the top, actually swinging me niblick. You know, you might be able to see me on the top there. My goodness, a long way up. Another one there, I think. Handy's got the biggest golf tee in the world. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Andy's nearest greens are America 3,000 miles away and the sillies are mere seven miles. I use a number one wood for the states, but just an eight iron for the sillies. Honest, I used to tell all sorts of rubbish in the old days. People loved it, I suppose. <laughs> I'm not grumbling. Yeah, happy days. Dolly, my goodness, there's no one. Dolly delights the lighthouse. People didn't believe it. The boatman used to bring visitors to have a look at us every day, and they would say to us, they've got to say to the visitors in the boat that they've got a, a lady lighthouse keeper, but being a chauvinistic lot, they would make her do all the night duties. Um, perhaps, maybe, uh, if we spoke nice, we could get her to come and have, uh, well, the boat used to come along. Then they'd say, where's the young lady? Where's the young lady? Well, she's still in bed, of course, she does all the night duties. Well, could you get her up and give us a wave? Well, of course, when she came to the door, and you saw how far away the door is from the boats, up here, and the boats are down here, and then we bring her to the entrance door, stand behind her and then just wave her arm about. Whoop. She looked rather real from way down there. And the people, of course, there she was dressed in black bra, black panties, long ginger hair. The day came, of course, when I had to leave the bishop and she got so many punctures in her by that time from rough handling, I think, we decided that we would let her go. So we just sort of pulled the plug on her and let her go from the door and out she went. And there was a boat there with about 60 people in it. And my goodness gracious, they do say a little old lady had a heart attack. I wouldn't know, but she must have looked pretty with... <laughs> <laughs> Dolly delights the lighthouse. What about the lighthouse? She used to delight the visitors. And then, of course, the, the end of it all. Where are we? What we got here? Oh, God. Oh, that's it. West people given top honours. High-ranking politicians and, and, and a lighthouse keeper. Honoured in the Queen's birth, the Oni List. There we are. Lighthouse keeper Handel Bluer awarded the British Empire Medal. Yeah. And then they tell you the story of my life, my goodness. <laughs> Dear, part of maritime history. You can say that again. Served his time on all the five isolated rock lighthouses in the southwest. Eh, eh. That was the day to remember. I think that was enough, really. Ah, uh, well, back to work. <clears throat> you can remember too long. <laughs> I think I can hear the kettle boiling. After nearly 40 years as a lighthouse keeper, and I'm looking forward now to putting my feet up. OK, I shall be on half pay, but I'm looking forward not to putting my feet up and relaxing, but uh, to forgetting all about the lighthouse service in a way and starting a completely new career. You never know, I might even go into politics. 